Ever wondered what the deadliest spider in the world is? It's a fascinating question that has probably crossed your mind at some point. It's no secret that spiders, with their eight legs, multiple eyes, and venomous fangs, can be quite intimidating. And while most are harmless to humans, there are a few that can pose a serious threat. These creatures have evolved over hundreds of millions of years, perfecting their unique brand of silent, deadly efficiency. They've developed a range of potent venoms, each with its own distinctive effects, from causing severe pain to inducing paralysis, and in rare cases even death. But which among these leggy predators is the deadliest? Is it the one with the most potent venom? Or perhaps it's the one that's most likely to come into contact with humans? Or maybe it's the one with the most fatal bites reported? Stay tuned as we unravel the mystery of the world's deadliest spider. The title of the world's deadliest spider goes to none other than the Brazilian wandering spider. And truly, it is a title well earned. This eight-legged terror, known by the scientific name Phonutria, is a force to be reckoned with. Let's take a moment to delve into the world of the Phonutria, or as it is more commonly known, the Brazilian wandering spider. This creature, originating from the tropical South America, is infamous for its lethal venom and its unpredictable roaming nature. Unlike many of its web-spinning cousins, the Brazilian wandering spider does not wait passively for its prey. No, this predator is an active hunter, roaming the forest floor at night in search of its next meal. But what earns this spider the title of the deadliest? Well, it's a combination of factors. First, it's venom. The venom of the Brazilian wandering spider is a potent cocktail of toxins, including a potent neurotoxin. This venom is so powerful that a minuscule amount, barely the size of a grain of salt, is enough to take down a full-grown human. The symptoms hit fast, causing severe pain, difficulty breathing, and if left untreated, can lead to paralysis and even death. However, it's not just the venom that makes this spider so dangerous, it's also its behavior. The Brazilian wandering spider is known for its highly aggressive nature. Unlike many spiders that prefer to flee when threatened, the Brazilian wandering spider stands its ground. Its front legs raised in a threat pose, it won't hesitate to strike if it feels cornered. While its venom is undoubtedly deadly, it's this combination of aggression and fearless hunting that truly makes the Brazilian wandering spider the world's deadliest arachnid. It's a creature that commands respect and caution, reminding us of the potent force of nature hidden in even the smallest of beings. This spider isn't just deadly because of its venom but also due to its aggressive nature. The Brazilian wandering spider, as the name suggests, is native to the tropical South and Central America. This arachnid doesn't settle down in one place but rather roams about, hence the name wandering. It thrives in a variety of environments, from the dense, humid jungles to the comfortable corners of human dwellings, and this adaptability makes it even more dangerous. In the wild, the Brazilian wandering spider calls the rainforest home. Here, amidst the lush greenery and plentiful food supply, it lurks in the shadows, waiting for unsuspecting prey. The spider's natural habitat is rich in biodiversity, providing a plethora of food sources like insects, small lizards, and even other spiders. But the Brazilian wandering spider isn't confined to the wild, it's an urban dweller too. The spider often ventures into human settlements hiding in dark and cozy corners. It's been found in homes, cars, clothes, shoes, and even in banana bunches which has earned it another name, the banana spider. This tendency to wander into human habitats increases the likelihood of encounters with people, and that's where the danger lies. The spider's habitat contributes to its deadly nature in a few ways. Firstly, the spider has adapted to hunt and survive in both the wilderness and urban environments, making it a versatile predator. Secondly, it's not a web-building spider but rather an active hunter, which means it's always on the move, increasing the chances of human encounters. Lastly, its preference for hiding in familiar human spaces like houses and cars means that you could potentially come face to face with this deadly creature without even stepping foot in a jungle. So, whether you're trekking through a rainforest in Central America or just reaching for a banana in your kitchen, remember that the Brazilian wandering spider could be lurking nearby. It's not just the venom that you need to be wary of, but also where you might encounter these spiders. What makes the Brazilian wandering spider so deadly? Well, let's dive into the details of this fascinating creature. The Brazilian wandering spider, also known as the Phonutria, is not just a regular spider that you might encounter in your garden. It is a unique species that boasts a few distinctive traits. First off, let's talk about its size. 
the Brazilian wandering spider is among the largest spiders in the world, with a leg span that can reach up to 6 inches. That's about the size of a dinner plate, but don't let its size fool you into thinking it's slow. This spider is quick and agile, capable of moving at lightning speed when it senses danger or prey. Now, let's move on to its appearance. The Brazilian wandering spider is quite the looker. It has a robust body that varies from brown to black, with distinctive red or orange hair around its chelicery, which are the spider's mouth parts. It's a sight to behold, but one you'd rather not encounter in person. As for its behavior, the Brazilian wandering spider is a wandering nocturnal hunter, hence the name. Unlike many spiders that rely on webs to catch their prey, this one actively hunts down its meals, which can include insects, other spiders, and even small amphibians. And of course, we can't forget about its venom. The Brazilian wandering spider's venom is a potent cocktail of neurotoxins, which can cause a range of symptoms from mild irritation to severe pain, paralysis, and even death in humans. It's known to have one of the most toxic venoms of any spider on Earth. But the venom isn't the only thing that makes this spider deadly. It's the combination of its size, speed, aggressive nature, and venom that makes the Brazilian wandering spider a formidable predator and a creature to be respected. So, there you have it. The Brazilian wandering spider. A marvel of nature, a master of its environment, and a deadly beauty. It's not just the venom that's deadly, it's the whole package. So, what's in the venom that makes it so deadly? Well, the answer lies in the venom's unique composition and its effects on the human body. Spider venom is a cocktail of various substances, each serving a different purpose. At its core, the venom contains proteins and peptides which are the key players in its deadly effects. These proteins and peptides are specially designed to target and disrupt specific biological processes in the prey's body. One such protein, for instance, can target and block the neuronal communication channels, causing paralysis. Another might be programmed to break down cell membranes, leading to cell death. It's this targeted, highly specialized nature of the venom proteins that make them so potent. But the venom doesn't stop at just proteins and peptides. It also contains small molecules like serotonin, histamine, and various salts. These molecules play a supporting role, helping the venom spread faster through the prey's body and intensifying its effects. Now what makes this venom particularly dangerous for humans? The answer lies in the speed and intensity of its action. Spider venom can start affecting the body within minutes of a bite. The venom swiftly travels through the bloodstream, reaching various organs and disrupting their normal functions. The symptoms can vary widely, from mild localized pain and redness to severe systemic effects like muscle weakness, blurred vision, increased heart rate, and in extreme cases, even death. However, it's important to note that the likelihood of such severe reactions is quite low for most spider species. The potency of spider venom coupled with its rapid action is what makes it deadly. However, it's also what makes it a subject of great interest in medical research. Scientists believe that by studying these venoms they could develop new treatments for a range of conditions from chronic pain to neurological disorders. Now that we know about the venom, let's wrap up with why this spider is considered the deadliest. So, why is the Brazilian wandering spider considered the deadliest, you may ask? Well, let's take a quick recap. This infamous arachnid makes its home in the tropical South American forests, lurking in the shadows and waiting for the perfect moment to strike. Its unique characteristics set it apart and above other spiders. Its size, speed, and aggressive nature mean it doesn't shy away from a potential threat. And its venom? Well, that's where it truly earns its deadly reputation. This spider's venom is a potent concoction, a toxic cocktail that can cause severe pain, paralysis, and even death in extreme cases. It's the perfect blend of danger and dread, making the Brazilian wandering spider a formidable foe. But remember, it's not just about the venom. Its habitat, its characteristics, and its venom all come together to make it the deadliest spider in the world. And there you have it, the Brazilian wandering spider, a creature of lethal beauty.